Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. I mean, a big part of why I like doing the interviews is because, like, with me being from, like, similar backgrounds, similar areas and shit like that, I, I feel like most of the world don't understand. Right. Like, they just look at people and see game members and crazy right. and criminals and savages, and they be yeah. like, these are real people with real emotions and yeah. going through real things that you just might not understand. Yeah, Some because we, we people fucked up. into the shit. Yeah, we program fucked up, bro. You know what I'm saying? They put us in these inner cities. They take, they take, think about it, bro. Like, we have no good food sources. Niggas, all it is is McDonald's and fucking chicken and Chinese restaurants and shit. There ain't no real Chipotle in the hood. Yeah. That shit, good organic food. That shit ain't that. We got our bodies fucked up. Got our minds fucked up. Take all the dads and put them in jail. You know what I'm saying? Got all these drugs out here. Niggas, you got to stand the game they ran. First they hit it with the crack. You know what I'm saying? Now that the weed is so goddamn powerful, niggas be fucking retarded off of one smoke. That weed is different, my nigga. Oh, you can't tell see me that shit. See how long it took him to park, man. You see what I'm saying? You can't tell me that shit medical. Like, niggas is helping. Niggas is fucked up on that weed. Seriously, nigga got to buy that shit every day. They're like, crack, nigga. Ain't no difference. But now they flipped it to the pills. God damn. Dude, remember when we was kids, like them old ladies that got there and run through the Walgreens and steal the pills and shit? Now they got every little nigga on them motherfuckers, man. They changed the game up. And that's the number one deadliest thing right now is that fentanyl, is those pills. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, and 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 there ain't no positive figures to show them the way out. So they need people like me. They need people like you. No, I was there 20 years ago. That was a long time ago. I did all that dumbass shit, and I regret it, and I hate it, and I apologize to anybody I harmed that I lived that life around. You know what I'm saying? But I changed my life now. Think about it. I made from that, but I still never drunk, never smoked, never did no bullshit. So I can stand there as a man today and give people an outlet. That's why I wrote the books. That's why I get on YouTube and tell them you could do this shit too. Like, don't get it fucked up. This shit is entertaining. This shit is fun. But, dog, you got a phone in your hand. You can use your phone, vlog. You can edit on iMovie. You can upload on YouTube, bro. You can make a living. Niggas in mean. prison. We love prison stories, right? Yeah. If a nigga in prison come out tell all them stories while he locked up, <laughs> nigga, we're going to watch that shit, right? It's, you I, niggas in prison <laughs> got a bag when you come out. Hey, shout out my man, uh, Gunsmoke Braves. I did interview him in prison. He he shoot music videos in prison. He's mixing and mastering his own songs. Them niggas is up. That's how my little he, brother is. <laughs> they been down for 15 years. Once again, shout out to Sound. His whole block, his whole motherfucking shit fuck with me. They be like, oh, that ain't your brother. He got to call me. You know, niggas got them phones. This nigga in 50. 15 years locked, that nigga got the phone with me talking to me. What's up, my nigga? We, niggas coming three or more, get it? They be going crazy. So, shout out to everybody locked down, man. Um, you know, hold your head. No matter if you did something or not, man. You know, everybody serve a second chance in life, bro. You know, nobody should be locked up like animals. But they do us like that, man. So, we need more outlines for our people. And we all got to rap. Like, that's why I made this song, No Sports. Because I'm 6'6", 230. I did play sports. But when I'm jumping out of Ferraris, Lambos, they think that's all I can ever do to get this. Yeah. And I didn't do that. I used my mind. You know what I'm saying? I was making a bag from my mind and my mouth, you know, without playing sports, without rapping. So I want more of us to know that. You know what I mean? So that's why I monetize everything from clothing. We can make soap. We can make candles. We can make do-rags. We can make shoelaces. We can make socks, whatever. We can make money off that shit, bro. We don't got to work for nobody. And we do. And everybody can't be 6'6", 230 with a killer instinct and play a sport. That can't happen for everybody. But everybody can wear a t-shirt. Everybody wear t-shirts. Shit, everybody can make jewelry, whatever. There's so many ways now, man. So we yeah. just need to open that up more to our people and uh -huh. learn about credit and shit, too. For sure. I honestly feel like anybody, like, I feel like if you able to, like, stay like the work that a job requires. I feel right. like if you able to put a network for another company, if you put in that work for yourself, you'll be rich. Oh, no Because you're question. making them rich. Oh, no question. But the key to all that shit, dog, is, and, and you probably know it because you had to do it one time, is taking that leap of faith, putting it all on the line, risking to lose it all, your life, your money, your Yeah, that's friends, the hard part. That's the hardest thing. Because that happened to me when I moved to L.A. I was in Minnesota. I'm the king, dog. I'm putting up Corvette, Hellcat. Everybody worshiped me. I was a poor nigga and they loved me. Now I'm really a rich nigga living downtown, 32nd floor, all glass, big patio, fucking bitches on the patio, got the foot up, nigga, nigga. Yeah, look at the goddamn stadium. You know what I'm saying? Look at the goddamn stadium. I'm going crazy. I'm really that nigga with the bag and I'm being cool. It was, I didn't want to leave. But I had to go to grow. I left that shit. I left from being a shark in a lake to being a killer whale in the ocean. I came to LA, I didn't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to having all my guns, nigga try to rob me. I don't fucking know, but I came anyway. You know what I'm saying? Went from paying 1800 a month to paying 5000 a month downtown circle with two parking spots across street from the Staples Center. You know what I'm saying? But I did it. I didn't know I was going to take care of it, but I did it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even though I was getting money, but nigga, I'm spending money too. It ain't like the shit that's stacking up at that time. I'm living life. Yeah. So like, nigga, to take care of this is like, whew. 
But nigga, the first month here, I got two partnerships that pay for my rent for the entire year. All oh, praise the most high. Leaps of faith pays dues. I swear everything you said sound like like what's happening right now. Man, <laughs> like, man, I'm the, the so one and only, brother. I'm the anointed one, brother. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm gonna show you a path, man. You're gonna be by, by this time next year, man, you have everything you wanted, brother. You have to have new goals, you know. That's the guard goal game, man. We go out the new goals, change the negative to a positive. You know what I'm saying? Once again, the guard goal, that's me, hard and fly at the same time. But gang is an acronym. Going after new goals. So I'm telling you right now, brother, everything you come here for, this time next year, you're going to have it. The cars, the cribs, the business, you're going to have that. Now you got to reshuffle. What I'm going to do now, I got to get new goals. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Because you got it, brother. Well, I appreciate it. You're welcome. So, you know, uh, can you elaborate on the uh, gargle thing a little more? Because yeah. I was, I was uh, looking at that, and I was kind of confused. Like, you yeah. know, what was the meaning behind it? Yeah, so I could break it down even more. So as a kid, I was an insomniac. So I was always up all night. And, um, you know, one of them weird old kids is hyper. I was one of them guys. So it was like my favorite cartoon was this cartoon called Gargoyles. Because they come to the lady stone during the day. Then they come to life and they up all night flying around, whooping motherfuckers, just cool ass niggas. They were just cold. I'm like, damn, I'm one of them. I'm up all night. I'm gonna... I was watch that shit all the time. And I loved it. And then I was watching like, damn, they stood for something. And on top of that, like Gargoyles, if you think about it, they're on top of churches. So um, they're always on top, right? So you're on top, you're a winner. You know what I mean? On top of that, they're on churches, so that means they're with God. Devil has the demons. You know what I'm saying? God has gargoyles. We both ferocious, but we play for different teams. So on top of that, like I always keep saying, they made out of stone, so they hard, but we got wings, we fly. I'm a cool looking nigga, I'm all that. But you see, when it's time to get dirty, I get nasty. You know what I'm saying? So it's both. You want to be hard and fly at the same time. We always on top. We winners. We got vision. We on top. On top of that, we on God's side. We on positive, but we with whatever we got to. We don't want no problem. If it is a problem, no problem. You know what I mean? On top of that, it's immortality. I'm not going to be, that's my pitch, she activated, but I, I'm not going to be here forever, but the people I influence, the people I aspire will carry my legacy on forever, so I will have immortality on earth. At the end of the day, when I'm gone, I just want a statue of me, man. I want to do something so glorious that it'll be a statue of me on this earth, and that's my end game goal. What's up? Gargoyle game. That'll be hard. Yeah, and fly.